hi and welcome to modbus plus python iot training so in this training we are covering some iot stuff regarding modbus and python we will try to read modbus device data using python script we will try to log our modbus device data using python script we will convert modbus rtu data to modbus tcp data using python script so here i have described some syllabus about our training so first of all we will see some software installation which is required for this training and then after we will play with modbus tcp ip server or we will play with modbus tcp ip devices or simulators okay and then after we will play with modbus rtu device or simulator and then after we will see how you can create your own modbus tcp server or tcp simulator using this two libraries pi modbus tcp or pi modbus after that we will see how you can convert your modbus rtu serial device data to modbus tcp data using python script after that we will see how you can log your modbus device data in sql database using two methods first method is mode to sql software and the second method is our python script so in this training we are going to cover all these topics and maybe in future we can add some more topics inside this training so our first part of this training is to installation of some software and in some software the first software we have to install is modbus slave software so we will minimize this and with this training i'll provide you one more zip file in that zip file you will find all the related software all the notebooks we are going to use in this training uh, this is the folder which i am creating along with the training so i'll provide it after completion of this training so first of all we will open this folder and you can see there is a two folder python notebook in which you will have multiple python notebooks related to our syllabus like uh, you want to write integer values to holding register using python script then this notebook will be available inside this folder and you want to install some software like you want to install modbus slave modbus pole mode scan or virtual serial port driver software then that software setup file will be available inside this software folder so if i double click and open this software folder you can see multiple setup is available in the zip file so we have to install modbus slave first of all so we will minimize this we will extract the modbus slave using 7z application so this zip file is extracted here so we will open this and you can see modbus slave setup for 64 bit of windows so we will double click and we will press yes for administrative access and then you can see installation wizard for modbus slave software and which is 64 bit of software so we will accept the license agreement and then we will press next next and then install so you can see our installation is completed and then we will press next now you want to read readme files then you can tick this i don't want to read so we will uncheck this and then we will press finish so if you minimize then you can see modbus slave software is installed in our system now the second software we have to install is modbus poll software so we will again minimize this and we will go to our folder and in the software you can see modbus poll version 9.5.1.7 and again we have to extract this so we are going to extract it okay here is the extracted folder inside we have modbus poll modbus poll version 9.5.1 and inside this we have modbus poll setup 64 bit so we are going to install 64-bit Modbus Pool setup in our Windows machine. And here is the Modbus Pool 64-bit installation wizard. Now we have to accept the license agreement and then we can press next, next, next. And you can see our Modbus Pool 64-bit software is installed successfully. Okay, same case with the Modbus Pool. If you want to read readme file, then you can read it. I don't want to read so I'll press finish so whenever you press finish there is a quick.html file for Morbus poll will be open in your browser if you want to read it then you can read it 
okay we will close this now on my desktop you can see modbus poll and modbus slave both the software are installed successfully so our two topic of this training modbus slave software installation guide and modbus poll software installation guide is completed now the question is why we have to use modbus poll and modbus slave software and what is the purpose to use modbus slave and modbus poll software so modbus slave and modbus poll software is used to create your modbus tcp device simulator okay so we can create our own tcp device simulator using modbus slave and modbus poll software okay so these two part we have covered now we want to install mode scan software and mode scan software is used to read modbus device data in your laptop so if you have a tcp device connected with your laptop then you can read your modbus tcp device data using mode scan software and if you have modbus serial device connected with your laptop or windows machine you can read your serial device data using mode scan software so that is why we are going to install mode scan software but uh, the catch is with mode scan software is you don't have to install it so here is the mode scan 32.zip uh, we have to extract it so you can see mode scan 32 is extracted in this folder you will directly find the mode scan 32.exe you don't have to install it you just have to use it directly so just double click on it to start the mode scan and it will run you don't have to install it so it's already patch so that is why you don't have to apply any license and it will run more than 15 minutes so we can use it in our training for longer period of time so this is our mode scan so what we have completed in our training uh, is to install modbus slave software modbus pool software and mode scan software now we will install virtual serial port driver software this virtual serial port driver is used to combine or connect two com ports we will use this virtual serial port driver software when we are working with a modbus serial device and we want to create modbus serial simulator device okay so first of all we will go to software and then again we will have to extract virtual serial port driver software so here i have extracted and we have to go to folder and then we have to install this exe file in our system so double click on it and press yes for administrative access so here you have to select your language in my case it will be english so i'll press ok and then i have to press next i have to accept the license agreement and then next uh, next uh, if you want to create a desktop icon then you can tick this so we will press next again and then we will install it okay so it is installed if you want to launch it then you can launch it i don't want to use any of this option for now and all i want to do is press on finish so if we minimize everything you can see configure virtual serial port driver software is installed modbus poll is installed modbus slave is installed and you can directly use more scan software from this folder got it so if you have any question till now then you can ask me in the comment section you can directly ask me on the telegram also you can directly ask me on the email now the next part is installation of python so if you are using windows 10 or windows 11 then you can go to microsoft store in microsoft store you have to search for python and you will find python 3.10 which is already installed in my system so just go to microsoft store search for python and go to python 3.10 and here you will find installation option so just press on install or you will find one get option to install your python 3.10 into your system so when your installation is successful you will see you you don't have any option to install or get here and if you want to check that your 
python is installed successfully then you can go to command prompt and then you can type python in your command prompt and hit enter you will see python 3.10.8 is already installed in my system so to make sure that it is installed you just have to go to command prompt and type python in the command prompt and hit enter you will see which version of python is installed in your system okay so i hope till now everything is clear and if you have any doubt at any point just ping me on telegram over the email or directly in the comment box so we can close the command prompt now because we know how to install our python okay and i'm also going to close this microsoft store i was recommending python 3.6.8 but we have already installed python 3.10 version now the next part is we have to install jupyter notebook so we will again open command prompt and sometime pip install notebook command will not work for someone so they can use python hyphen m pip install notebook so if i copy this and if i go to command prompt if i paste it and then if i hit enter you will see something will be processed here it will try to install jupyter notebook in your system so if it is installed then you will see requirement already satisfied and if it is not installed in your system then that will be installed with this command so you have to use this command python hyphen m pip install notebook to install your jupyter notebook in your system i hope this part is clear to you that how you can install python in your system using microsoft store okay and then after installing python successfully how you can install jupyter notebook in your system so all you have to do is just use this command python hyphen m pip install notebook and it will install jupyter notebook in your system now you want to try that your jupyter notebook is installed successfully or not then you can type python hyphen m notebook and you have to hit enter so jupyter notebook will open in your browser okay so you can see jupyter notebook is installed in my system and it will open at localhost colon 8888 now we can go to our desktop and we can find our folder modbus plus python iot training and then we can uh, navigate to python notebook and all the notebook are available here you can now use this notebook using jupyter notebook and python so what we have covered till now is modbus slave installation guide modbus pole installation guide python installation guide and then jupyter notebook installation guide more scan uh, installation guide but in this case you don't have to install more scan you can directly use it and then uh, we have seen virtual serial port driver installation guide so that much part is clear so if you have any doubt in that much part you can ask directly without any hesitation okay so now we will move to the next part installing our two important libraries which is pymodbus library and pymodbus tcp library so we will navigate to our notebook and you can see install modbus libraries dot ipynb so this is my notebook name install modbus library and dot ipynb is extension of my python notebook okay so we will click on it and our notebook will open in any other tab okay so our notebook is open now you want to install pi modbus in your system so all you have to do is just press shift plus enter and this cell will run so you can see here requirement already satisfied so i have already installed pi modbus in my system so that is why we can see the message that requirement is already satisfied if you don't have pi modbus installed in your system then when you run this command pi modbus will be installed in your system now 
next library we want to use and we are going to install is pymodbus tcb so again we have to use this command python hyphen m pip install pymodbus tcb and we will put cursor anywhere inside this cell and then we will press shift enter so i didn't press shift enter because you can see here previously pymorbus tcp was not installed in my system so i run this cell and you can see the output here collecting pymorbus tcp installing collected packages and successfully install pymorbus tcp 0.2.0 okay and if library is already installed then you can see the message like this that requirement is already satisfied so if i run this cell now then my requirement is already satisfied because pymorbus tcp is already in my system so if i run this cell then we will see some message like requirement is already satisfied because it is already installed so you can see here requirement already satisfied now there is one more optional package you can install which is minimal morbus you can use this package for your own exploration okay so you can install this package using python hyphen m pip install minimal morbus and previously it was not installed in my system so that is why you can see collecting minimal morbus collecting pi serial and whatever the library required for minimal morbus it will connect and it will install in my system right now it is already installed so i will see some message like requirement already satisfied see requirement already satisfied because the necessary library required for minimal mode bus is already installed in my system so that is why i am getting this message requirement already satisfied so i hope it is clear to you that how you can install the basic need of this training so what is covered in the basic need of installation in this training is mode bus slave mode bus pole python jupyter notebook mode scan virtual serial port driver pi morbus and pi morbus tcp library so the first part of this training software installation we have covered it okay so if you have any question any doubt inside the first part or first section of this training uh, installation section then you can ask directly without any hesitation because its training is for you and you have to understand each and everything of this training so i hope it is clear to you so in the next video we will learn this section play with modbus tcp ip server or simulating device and in this section we will see how you can use modbus slave or modbus pol software to create virtual modbus tcp device or you can say virtual modbus tcp simulator okay so we will cover everything in this second section and then after we will see third section which is related to modbus rtu or serial device okay so we will meet you in the next video of this training and in the next video of this training we will see uh, second section uh, which is very huge section but we will uh, cover it in some parts so i hope everything is clear okay so we will meet you in the next video till then Take care, goodbye and thank you.